I'm Alvin Drew, Mission Specialist aboard Discovery for STS-133, and you are watching NASA TV. This is a look at the docking connection between Discovery and the International Space Station, specifically pressurized mating adapter number two. This is on the end of the uh, Harmony node where Discovery has been docked. Now one hour, seven minutes away from undocking. As we mentioned, the station's in the process of spinning around and putting Discovery out front. It typically flies with a shuttle in the back of uh, the combined stack, as it's called, this is to protect uh, Discovery from any sort of uh, hits in terms of micrometeoroids. But for undocking, uh, Discovery will lead the way out front. Are you using Big Loop um, just under the depth free? There's a primary RJT driver 8 to on, please. Now just two minutes away. Now just 30 seconds away, we will have an undocking today on time at 6 a.m. Central Time. All the systems have been powered up, everything on track. The crew is uh, in good shape on both sides of the hatch. Houston and station physical separation. Separation confirmed. Discovery has undocked at 6 a.m. Central Time. Station copies. Discovery says farewell to the International Space Station for the final time. This docked mission has now ended. Discovery flies by itself now. The station is in attitude control. Discovery copies. This is the view they saw from the orbiter docking system ring, uh, looking straight at pressurized mating adapter number two. As Discovery backed away from the International Space Station, after this morning's 6 a.m. Central Time undocking. Discovery edged out to a distance of 400 feet and then pilot Eric Bowe took over control and began a fly around of the International Space Station. We should get some video uh, from the crew of that. And of course we'll bring it to you live as we get it. A spectacular view there of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, the Soyuz TMA-20 right there at the top right-hand side, the Progress docked as well, and the automated transfer vehicle back there on Zvezda. The Space Shuttle Discovery there, 769 feet away from the orbiting complex.
Discovery beginning to pass underneath the Russian segment. Discovery flying about 628 feet away from the station now. Still uh, back behind and below the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Through 6.4, you can depress. Okay, uh, go for step. Six one through six four inclusive. Good read back. Discovery undocked from the International Space Station at six AM Central Time today. With pilot Eric Bow at the controls, moved out in front of the station and then has started a, a slow fly around. At this part of the uh, video we can see the uh, Discovery is moving up above the International Space Station. Discovery in the station approaching the northwestern edge of Africa. They'll be running parallel to the coast, looking down on the western Sahara and Morocco. Right about the time the Discovery passes directly underneath the station. The shuttle passing over Cape Verde now, just uh, heading toward the northwestern edge of Africa. Once again, Discovery's payload bay fairly empty at the end of this docked phase of STS-133. It took up several tons of supplies and equipment for the crew on board the space station. The permanent multi-purpose module now delivered. Express Logistics Carrier number 4 also installed. Discovery now has done its job for the International Space Station, finishing up this uh, victory lap around the orbiting complex. The crew uh, getting their last looks at the space station complex and the Expedition 26 crew uh, getting their final looks at Discovery as it flies underneath.
the sands of the Sahara Desert passing underneath Discovery. And it's altitude 216 miles. The two spacecraft approaching Morocco now as they uh, continue heading toward the northeast. There's about 650 feet in between Discovery and the International Space Station. Station Houston, Space Ground 2 for uplink video. Discovery has now completed its fly around. We're standing by for the first of these separation burns. This will begin the process of Discovery moving away. Discovery set complete. Uh, TIG was 10 slash 15 colon 15 colon 57. Copy, Discovery. Yes, Steve, as uh, you guys are heading home, I wanted to say one last time that we really enjoyed your company on board. And I'm really proud of what we accomplished together as a uh, team here on the space station, but uh, also including the larger team. Uh, in Houston and all the control centers around the world. This uh, space program and doing something as complicated as this really takes a uh, team effort, and that's, uh, I think, what we've uh, proven here this last week. Uh, I'd like to wish you guys a safe rest of your flight and a safe landing, and I will see you all back in Houston here in about uh, a week or so.
Commander Steve Lindsay, Pilot Eric Bow, and Mission Specialist Alvin Drew are at the controls of the robotic arm, which is holding the orbiter boom sensor system as they uh, conduct these surveys. This morning, uh, Mission Specialist Steve Bowen and Nicole Stott completed the uh, unpacking of the spacewalking gear and getting that stuff stowed and then uh, getting it all put away for uh, entry. That dark colored area on the left hand side moving below the wing is Lake Huron. The combined crews completed all of the objectives of that uh, dock time frame, delivering the uh, permanent multi-purpose module and getting it uh, more unpacked and outfitted than had been in the original plan. They also installed a new external uh, stowage platform uh, known as the Express Logistics Carrier number 4 and they uh, executed two spacewalks with uh, Steve Bowen and Al Drew working outside the station, their crewmates supporting them from inside, as they uh, cleaned up a lot of different uh, tasks over uh, many different areas of the space station. As the uh, shuttle is maneuvering, so is the uh, robotic arm moving. We're getting this view from uh, the vantage point of 215 miles above the uh, Central Pacific Ocean. Discovery has uh, just crossed the equator on a northeasterly course. Shuttle Discovery is now flying 220 miles above the uh, Eastern Atlantic Ocean. Clearly an orbitable, orbital nighttime. Uh, heading for landfall on the northwestern uh, coast of Africa. This camera is in the aft of the payload bay on the starboard side. And we can see that uh, Eric Bow and Al Drew have got the uh, OBSS positioned above its cradles on the starboard sill. This camera is at the forward end of the payload bay on the starboard side and is uh, framing up so that we can get a close-up look as the shuttle's robotic arm ungrapples from the OBSS. The crew of Space Shuttle Discovery have been working on the late inspection of the thermal protection system of the shuttle since before 10 o'clock this morning. It's when the late inspection began. The uh, robotic arm maneuvered the orbiter boom sensor system into position along the starboard wing to examine the reinforced carbon-carbon panels that line the leading edge. Survey of the starboard wing got finished just before noon central time. And the crew members moved on to 
start the inspection of the uh, nose cap. That got started at 12.04 and was wrapped up at 12.53 Central Time. Now less than 50 minutes away from the scheduled start time of the uh, cruise sleep period at 6.23 Central Time this evening. Earlier this afternoon, we got a substantial replay of video shot by the shuttle astronauts uh, with their view of the International Space Station during the fly-around of the station that took place this morning. 